mindful life practice. On our backs. So you can come down and rest your back body. Bring your soles of feet together. Let your knees drop wide. Lift your arms up overhead and grip your palms to opposite elbows. Coming into a, a butterfly shape. And, and what's really nice about this shape is that I think a lot of us have been at home sitting kind of like hunched over at our desks and or like lying on our couches. And so we're kind of flexing the spine a lot. And this is allowing us a bit of spinal extension. So the lungs are kind of expanded along the rib cage. And then the inhales and exhales are like rippling like a wave through the body. Just kind of check in with yourself. So me and Lujan were just chatting about how I think a lot of us, myself included, are feeling really anxious right now. Even if I think you're approaching the current situation, what feels like a bit of calmness and level-headedness, there can still be a lot going on in the mind, even things that we're not aware of. So just take a moment to scan yourself now and see how everything's been impacting you. We're going to be moving through twists. We're going to be working on the core today, which is the solar plexus, the center of the body. And so, so if you don't yet have an intention for this class, I'll invite you to just work with the intention, I am centered. I am strong, maybe. Or if you have something else in mind, like I am here, I am present, just establish that now. Take one more breath in and then take your palms to the outsides of the legs. Draw the knees in, give your body a little bit of a hug. And as you curl up, your low back expands and then you can rock from side to side. Just kind of massage your little back. And then we're going to come all the way into neutral. Take your knees wide, lift your feet up towards the sky, and then just grip your palms to your soles of the feet or to the ankles, taking your happy baby. You can rock side to side and just create some space in the hips. And we're going to play with a little bit of a core movement. So we're going to try crow pose, but on our back. So take your palms, bring them to the inside of the legs, and then just draw your feet towards your bottom. And you're going to push the ground away and kind of feel your navel almost like turning on, doing this weird thing, three, and two. And then on one, lower back, interlace your palms behind the back of the skull. Lengthen out through your right leg. Let's curl up and tap the right elbow to the left, holding here for three, for two, and then for one, switch the opposite way, connecting three, two, and one. Let's keep going, curl and connect. Three, two, and one, cross the body. Three, two, and one. Let's take two more on each side, curling and connecting. Three, two, one, connect. One more each. And then opposite side. Nice. Come all the way back to center. Just draw your knees into the chest. Give yourself one more hug. And then plant your feet on the mat. Plant your palms. Inhale your hips up to the sky. Take a nice stretch through the back. Maybe interlace the palms. Find your bridge. Pinky side down. Take one more breath in. And then 
and slowly lower. Hands on the backs of the thighs. Let's rock all the way to upright. Come all the way so that you're on the knees. And then let's just play with kind of stabilizing through the wrists. So maybe turning your palms out to the side like this on the mat. And then if that's enough, stay there or you can rock your fingertips back and then just kind of rock and open through the wrists. So I was saying in my classes yesterday, um, one of the funny things about this is that when I'm teaching in person, I usually don't do every pose. I usually just kind of tell you guys what to do and watch. <laughs> and so it's actually quite challenging for me teaching it virtually because I'm gonna do all the poses with you. <laughs> Let's unwind the palms, take them back to where they are. Just tuck the toes, sit back on the heels so that you're stretching the soles of the feet. If this is too much for your ankles, you can also sit back like this, okay? Let's reach the arms up and then just take some circles. So, um, yeah, forgive me if I'm out of breath. Yesterday, I was saying in, in my vinyasa class, I was like, guys, yoga is hard. <laughs> then circle the other way. Let's come all the way back to normal. Walk your body out so that you're coming all the way onto your mat. And then rest your elbows in front of you so you're in this sphinx pose. So we're starting with kind of like a gentle back bend through the spine, opening up through the heart. Stay for one more breath. And then tuck your toes and lift your hips up so you're coming into a strong forearm plank. You should feel your core engaged. You're pressing through the palms. You're resting through the elbows. Let's stay here for three, for two, and then on one, you're gonna place your right palm on the mat first. So you're kind of in this half like elbow plank thing. Just stay for three, for two. And then for one, press your left palm up onto the mat. Three, two. And then we're gonna go all the way back to down dog. Stretch through the spine, step your feet in, press through the heels as you bend through both knees. And then we're gonna rip it forward into a plank again. Now, I know you guys, none of you are new to yoga, but if you feel at any point like you need to land the knees onto the mat, know that it's an option for you. You don't have to be up here in your full plank all the time. We're going to do a few planks today to build core strength. Okay, so let's stay for one more breath. And then land your left elbow. Land your right, find yourself into a sphinx, pushing the ground away, stay for five, four, three, two, and then one, lay your hips down and lift your heart and send your breath into your lungs. Let's tuck the toes under. Lift this up again, holding here for five, four. What a fun way to start the class, eh? Three, two, and then one left palm lands first, right palm lands last. Lift all the way up, find your down dog. Let your head drop below the shoulders and rock from side to side. And then bend through both knees, gaze forward, step your feet up to meet the hands. Take an inhale to halfway lift. Take an exhale to fold. Step the toe mounds together. Bend through the knees, find yourself into your chair. So today we're working on the core and we're all about the solar plexus. So we're gonna take some core twists. So on your inhale, keep arms lifted. On your exhale, so take your palms to heart center. Inhale, lift the elbows. And then exhale, twist, land your right elbow on the left thigh. 
Your right knee might be sliding forward. Just draw it back. Keep sitting the hips low. Three, two, and then one, unwind. And then twist the opposite way, left elbow, right knee. Stay for three, for two, and then for one, come all the way up, take a breath in, and then exhale your palms at heart center. Take an inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, plant the palms, step the feet back, find your strong plank, push the ground away, three, two, and then one, let's move through our first vinyasa, bend the elbows lower, inhale, lift your heart, through the back, <laughs> and then draw them all the way up into a table. Sorry, down dog. Take your right leg up towards the sky like a dog, and then land your right toes back down. Lift your left leg up. Land the left toes back down. Bend through the knees, gaze forward. Step the feet up to meet the hands. Take your inhale to half a lift. Exhale to fold. Bend through the knees, chair. So we're going to carry on with this flow that we're going to add on. All right, so stay where you are on the inhale. Exhale, dive into your fold. Inhale, up to half lift. And exhale to lower, plant the palms, step back plank. Follow through with your vinyasa. And know that at any point in the practice, if you want to skip vinyasa, you can. You know, you guys all have practiced with me before. So you know that my attitude is just do what feels good and feels right in your body today. Plus, I can't even see half of you, so I won't even know if you're not doing it. <laughs> Let's take the right leg up towards the sky. Inhale. Draw your left knee in. Step your right foot between the palms. Find a step so that your right knee is on top of your right ankle. And then inhale, lift both palms up. So not really a classical sun salutation fan, but it is a good way for us to warm up the body here. So let's take one more breath. And then exhale to go back down. Step the right foot back. Move through vinyasa. Lift all the way up. Opposite side, left foot lifts, inhale. Draw your left knee in. Left foot steps between the palms. Lift all the way to your crescent lunge. Stay for a breath. And then we're back to down. Move through your vinyasa. We'll meet up and down dog. Bend the knees, face forward. Hop or step feet to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, bend the knees, chair. I was just thinking, power classes are particular classes where I don't do a lot of the poses with you guys. I just watch. <laughs> so this is going to be hard for me today. <laughs> Let's take one more breath. And exhale down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, lower. Make your way through your vinyasa. And this time I'm going to give you guys an option, okay? So you're going to lift your leg up towards the sky. Option one, you can just step the right foot forward like normal. Option two, you can bend your left knee, gaze forward, and then hop your left foot forward, land on your right toes, and inhale all the way up. Whew. One more breath in. And then exhale, fold. If you would like, step your left toes back, keep your left toes floating, and move through your vinyasa with your left toes lifted. <sighs> Opposite side, okay, so left foot lifts up. Either you step the left foot forward, or you bend through the right knee, hop the right foot, lift the left toes, Come all the way up into your lunge. Whew. Stay for a breath. 
and then lower down. Step your right toes back and let's flow. <sighs> down dog. Oh, okay, bend through the knees, gaze forward, feet up to meet the hands. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Toes together, bend the chair. So we're going to try this one more time. Now that you've got the hang of the flow, getting our heart rate up. Just take an inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, lower. I'm going to go straight back to down dog. If you want to take a flow, you can. This time you're going to lift the right foot, bend through the right knee and stack the hips. You're opening up. And then slowly unwind back. Bend through the left knee, give a hop to the left foot forward, land the right toes. Inhale, it's all the way up. You got it. Well, I can see that yes, I got it. <laughs> Let's slowly lower. And then take your vinyasa, meet up and down dog. <sighs> One more, and I'm on child's pose, I promise. <laughs> left leg lifts up. Bend through the left knee, stack the hips open. Unwind. Bend through the right knee. Hop the right foot forward. Land the left toes, inhale all the way up. One more inhale, and then exhale to lower. Move through vinyasa, or you can just go directly to your child's pose. As you rest into your child's pose, let your, your hips be heavy on top of your heels. Let your forehead be grounded. Send your breath into your low back. And then as you exhale, sink a little deeper. Take three. Or two. And then on one, you're going to imagine that there is this marble underneath your nose. You're gonna push that marble all along the length of your mat. I hope you clean your mat first. And then come all the way forward on to your belly. So on your belly, we're gonna take a few back bends. First one, our palms alongside the hips. And then draw the navel in. And as you inhale, lift your heart up, lift your legs up, extend through the legs, holding here for five, for four, for three, for two, and then one, lower down and land a cheek. Breathe in and then breathe out. So for your second back bend, you can take that one or you can interlace the palms, press the palms together, and then lift your heart up. Stay here for five, for four, you got it, three, two, and then one, lower the opposite cheek. Now third back bend, you probably know what's coming. You can kick your heels in towards your bottom, grip your palms onto the ankles, and then as you inhale, lift up. Staying here for five, for four, for three, for two, and then one, lower down, and land a cheek. <sighs> Send a few deep breaths through the body. Take your palms underneath the shoulders. Lift all the way up. So we're going to come into a low plank now. So you're going to come forward. Make one point with your body. Body, keep your knees on the mat, or if you're hardcore, you can tuck your toes. I'm going to. <laughs> We're going to take our yogi push ups, which are training our um, arms, elbows drawing back, 
and then pushing the ground away. So I'm a big fan of these because for a long time, I didn't do a lot of arm work. I didn't do a lot of core work. I much prefer like opening the hips and the hamstrings. And so I neglected this part of my body. And obviously if you neglect your arms and your core, then you're never gonna accomplish those advanced yoga poses, right? So let's take three more. Two. And then one, come all the way up and sit the hips back and rest the forearm. <sighs> take an inhale and then take an exhale. Come up to a table, find yourself in a down dog. Let's take the right leg up towards the sky, three-legged dog. Draw the right knee in and find a cross leg. Staying for three, for two, and then for one inhale, extend. Right knee is going to tap the right elbow. Three, two, one, extend. Last time, right knee crosses, tap the left elbow. You're going to extend the right foot out, land on the right edge of the foot, land on the left, lift your left thumb up. This is this fallen triangle. And then take the left palm back. Lift all the way up, three-legged dog. Bend through the right knee, stack the hips and reach the right toes over. Reach the right arm overhead, find your wild thing. Stay here for an inhale. Stay for an exhale. Take your right palm down. Draw your right hands, your right foot forward. Now I'm just gonna turn around on the mat because I realized I'm not gonna be facing you. You're gonna come all the way up. Land onto your left heel, and then open into a warrior two. Okay, from your warrior two, let's just place the right hand on the heart, and then the left hand on the heart. Close the eyes. Slow the rhythm of your breath. Feel the rhythm of your heartbeat. Find a bit of calm in the midst of chaos. Reach your right arm in front, left arm in front, and then we'll flow through inhaling, reversing the warrior, exhaling down into the extended side angle. Three more flows, reverse, extended side angle. Two. Got it, last one. Come into your extended side angle, then either stay here or reach your right fingertips down towards the mat. Maybe if the binding is part of your practice, you might draw your left arm back, wrap your right arm around, gaze over the left shoulder. Let's stay low here for one more breath. And then slowly unwind all the way up. Lift off of your left heel. You're going to swivel, swivel, swivel so you're in your um, crescent lunge. I'm like, what pose again? <laughs> Take your arms up, inhale. Draw your palms into your heart center, exhale. Inhale, lift through your elbows. And then exhale, twist, left elbow, right thigh. So now you're in a twisted low lunge. Same options here. You can stay with your hands at heart center. You can extend. Maybe you wrap all the way into the bind. Let's slowly unwind up. Take both palms up one more time. Take your palms into heart center. We're going to twist again. And this time you're going to step your left foot forward to meet the right find yourself in a twisted chair at the front of your mat stay for one more breath and then unwind release take an inhale and then take an exhale now if you want to take your peace fingers and grip your toes you can opening the arms wide and releasing the head just kind of letting the head dangle. And maybe 
Maybe you take your full hands and you slide them under and then anchor your toes on your wrist. Just kind of let the head hang heavy and relax. Let's take that flow the opposite way. So inhale, your palms reach up. Exhale, you fold. Come all the way back to a down dog. If you want to take vinyasa, go ahead. Inhale the left leg up towards the sky. First time, draw the left knee in your core plank. Three, two, and then one. Inhale, extend. Left knee comes across the half left elbow. Three, two, one, and then extend. Take your left knee, tap the right elbow, and then maybe extend the left leg out. Find your falling triangle. Three, two, and then one, come all the way back up. Lift your left leg. Maybe finding your wild thing, flipping. Lifting the heart towards the sky. Got it, come all the way back. Left leg extends. Draw your left knee in. Step your left foot between the palms. <sighs> okay, inhale all the way up into a crescent lunge. Land your right heel, find your warrior two. Take a breath in, and exhale, come all the way down to your extended side angle. Flow through three more. Two. And then a last one. Come all the way up. Left palm on the inside of the left leg. Now maybe you just stay here, or maybe you lower, wrapping the arm into this bind. Whatever your variation is, you're just getting a deep stretch in the hips. And slowly come up. Let's lift off of the right heel now. Reach both arms up. And then take our little bit of a twist. So palms at heart center, lift through the elbows, twist and land the right elbow on the left thigh. Now, if you want to stay, you can. You can also reach the right arm up and maybe you wrap around taking that bind. Okay. Stay for three and then two. And then one, let's unwind. Coming all the way up, hands at heart center. Take your big inhale, exhale, twist, and then get some momentum as you step right foot forward, bend through both knees, finding your twisted chair. Nice. Three, two, one, unwind, and then fold forward. Take your breath in, and then take your breath out. We're gonna walk our feet wide on the mat. Toes go out, heels come in. Sit your hips down, find yourself into a squat. Okay, so you know what's coming next. <laughs> you can stay in this squat. You can work on your push-ups. You can play around in crow. Please be careful if you're going into crow because I can't see you and I'm not there. <laughs> So set yourself up strong with your palms, wiggle your feet in, look forward, and then just play with maybe lifting one leg, and then maybe the next. For three, and two, and then on one, we're gonna make our way all the way back into down dog. Let's take a few rounds of breath here. So if you want to drop into your child's pose, drop into your child's pose. I'm going to get a sip of water. <sighs> We're just going to take one more um, of that standing flow kind of sped up and then we're going to drop down into 
a bit more restorative, okay? <laughs> so come up into your down dog. Let's move a little quicker this time. Right leg lifts up, three-legged dog. Draw your right knee in, core plank. Take your right leg up towards the sky. Right knee taps, right elbow. Lift all the way up, three-legged dog. Right leg crosses, maybe you extend. Land the left heel and then lift up. Nice. Come all the way back. If you want to come over and flip your dog, feel free to flip your dog. Slowly unwind back. And then draw your right knee in. Step your right foot between the palms. Nice work. Come all the way up. Open into your warrior two. Verse the warrior. And then come forward, landing the right elbow in your extended side angle. And we're just gonna stay. If you have Heart of Paradise as part of your practice or you're exploring it, your arms are in bind. And then you hop the left foot forward and then see if you can lift up to stand like this. And then maybe you can extend the leg. Maybe not, I can't really. It's okay. <laughs> Come all the way back down. <laughs> Let's step all the way back. Lift all the way back up. And then we're going to skip the, the deep twist on the opposite side. We're just going to take palms into heart center. Take an inhale. Take an exhale to twist. And then and once again, we're going to hop. Step the left foot forward. You're finding yourself in this twisted chair. All right. So if you want to um, come into your twisted crow, you're going to land your palms on the mat. Connect your left elbow and your right elbow to your bottom and then see if you can sort of bring your feet to maybe float. I don't know if you guys can see very well. I'll try it like this. <laughs> and let's come all the way back and then just go back into a down dog. Maybe take a vinyasa. And then take the opposite side. Oh, okay, so left leg lift, inhale. Draw your left knee in, core plank. Inhale, extend. Left knee taps your left elbow. Breathe in, lift. Left knee crosses the body, taps your right elbow, and maybe you lengthen out here, finding that fallen triangle. Come all the way back. Lift your left leg up. Maybe you flip your dog. <sighs> all right. Let's come all the way back. And then take the left knee in. Step the left foot between the palms. Lift all the way up. Warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, come forward. Left elbow right, left thigh, sorry, reach the right fingertips forward. If you want to stay here, stay, or you can lift the arm down, maybe go for a bind. Let's slowly unwind. Oh wait, I forgot, Bird of Paradise. <laughs> if you're playing with Bird of Paradise on this side, lifting all the way up. <sighs> Staying here for three. For two and one, let's step the left foot back. Step the right foot all the way back. Unwind all the way. Lift arms up. Inhale. And then take the palms into heart center. Lift to the elbows and then twist. Ah, okay, you got it. Step the right foot forward. And then maybe play around with the twisted crow on the side. Let's do it for one more breath. And then we're gonna come back all the way back in the center. If you wanna take a vinyasa here, go ahead. I'm just gonna step straight back to a down dog. 
from your down dog, lift your right leg up. Let's draw the right knee in. We're resting now, we're transitioning. Lay your right chin across the width of the mat. Wiggle your left knee back. Take a breath in and then lower down, resting the forehead. Give it one more breath. And then slowly lift all the way up. Make your way back to a down dog. And then we'll take the vinyasa the opposite, or not the vinyasa, the pigeon the opposite way, inhaling up. Draw your left knee in, lay it across the width of the mat. Wiggle back, 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 breathe in and then slowly lower. One more breath into your pigeon. And then slowly roll all the way up. Swing your right foot around. You're bringing yourself into seated. Let's just take one more little core move. So lifting up, finding your boat, staying, holding here for three, two, one, extending everything out. Three, two, and then one, lower the back body, lower the heels, rest the palms, take a short mini little Shavasana. And I'm gonna let you take a back bend now, so you choose. You can either come up into this bridge pose, or maybe you come all the way into your wheel. Whichever one you're in, slowly come back down. Take the knees into the chest and give yourself a little bit of a hug. So we're gonna finish off with a bit of a spinal twist. Open the arms into cactus arms. Draw both knees over to the right and send your gaze over to the left. Stay into your twist for one more breath. And then we'll slowly unwind and, and twist in the opposite way. So our practice this morning, it was pretty challenging. It was challenging for me. <laughs> and, and one of the things that we can learn from from a challenging yoga practice is how we can find a peaceful center in challenging situations. And obviously, as I've learned this week, it's probably sometimes easier said than done. It's pretty hard to find a peaceful center right now. <laughs> Let's come all the way back into center and just take the knees into the chest and give yourself a big hug. So know that our yoga practice, it's not about lifting into the full shape. It's more about feeling the strength and the, the stretch in, in our build up to and our release from a posture. 
If you want to take any last little stretches or poses before we head into Shavasana, feel free. Have about a minute now. Another thing thing that we learn from, from our practice is how to identify the specific emotions that arise from the postures we're in. We're learning about ourselves from all that stuff, right? Arm balancing can bring up frustration, feelings of inadequacy, can also bring up feelings of freedom, of focus, of playfulness. It's all about learning that. Take one more breath wherever you are. And then slowly start to, to lead yourself into your final resting pose. Whatever posture that might be. Make sure that your phone is not in reaching distance. <laughs> I know that when we're at home, there's almost like less of a social commitment than there is in the studio to, to have our phones off in a way. But it's so important, especially at this time, to give yourself an hour that is away from it all. So I'm gonna stop talking now and, and for a few minutes, I'm just gonna leave you to your own devices. Different ways that you use that help you be here and be calm in the present moment.
and your toes a little wake up wiggle. Find a nice long stretch. Fingers all the way through toes. Take your knees into your chest. Give yourself a hug. And then just slowly make your way back up to a seated shape. You can take your palms into your heart center. Rest your thumbs into your heartbeat and just rest your shoulders. So we close with an intention an ancient intention perhaps the original intention it's been passed from heart to heart year by year that our yoga practice remain steady that our efforts remain continuous that our practice be of benefit and service to all beings everywhere May all beings be well. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May they walk on the path towards freedom each and every day. So we're gonna finish with an ohm sound. And if you wanna join, we're gonna inhale and then exhale and then inhale through to make an ohm. Okay, so take a breath in. Take a breath out. Take a breath in. Oh. Thank you for, for sharing the space and the practice for showing up this morning. I hope you have a really peaceful and lovely day. Om Shanti Shanti Peace. Namaste. The Mindful Life Practice.